Take action campaign is, is exactly what it is, to take action. That means to find out about, in this, uh, in this case, cervical cancer, and to actually do something about it. Uh, well, taking action in this sense is, uh, is we are doing a disease um, awareness campaign to educate uh, women out there about cervical cancer and HPV-related diseases. Well, my role as well as I think everyone here, we've volunteered time and effort to make it more aware to women that it can be prevented and for those who have it, it is not as serious as you think. There are lots of ways for, for you to overcome this and um, to do our part is to be aware. To me, it's as long as I'm reaching out to people like me who either just know a little bit, um, but um, like people like me are afraid to know more. Yeah. So I think, yeah, this is my way of finding out more and also because I've got four daughters. Yeah, so I thought I, I'd better find out a little bit more about this and then hopefully I can talk to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it, it's like, I mean, our whole lives, um, all our yeah. lives are surrounded. We're surrounded by women, you know, we have mothers, sisters, Precisely. cousins, yeah. nieces, friends, yeah. you know. Close friends, yeah. And True. especially Malaysian women, I think Asian women in general, we mm. just, we rarely even speak uh, of the nether regions. Yeah. You know, so, taboo, like yeah, it's taboo, yeah, you know, yeah. uh, we live in a society, uh, can I say it, you know, that's yeah, in denial yeah. about all, a lot of these things. Mm. So I think, I think it, mm. that, that's what we're here for, not just to learn for ourselves because mm. we're just as ignorant or we were just as ignorant and just a little bit more informed than yeah. most other women out there right I, and now. And also this, this thing about, probably this Asian women when you think about the pantang. Yeah. You know, if something is bad, la pantang, yeah. don't talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Because so. if, you, if, you, if you speak of it, it will yeah, come it after will you. Happen. Yeah, you know, yeah, so it's like fighting yeah. off his grandmother's tales, yeah, yeah. so, yeah, last of that. So, so we, yeah. we'd like to change that. Uh, my role as an ambassador in this campaign is to basically be out there, be the face to represent the campaign. Um, we are basically the uh, one of the few core people who wants to go out there to inform women about the importance of knowing about, the, the, about cervical cancer and about how you can prevent it and what you should do to prevent it. So we are there to basically inform women to, 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 be, to get up, you know, to get up, to be proactive about it, to know, the, the inform, get information in the first place, and from there find out how you can prevent the disease and what you should do if you do have the disease or the virus in yourself. So basically that's our role. We are, we are a lot, like a loud hailer. I think that's what we are. My role as an ambassador is first and foremost when I was approached was to Hey, educate myself and to learn and to find out more about cervical cancer and after I did that then it was to go out and basically be a voice to educate women and for me it would be especially um, to let girls out there know that even if you're you know in your mid-twenties or early twenties um, this is something that can happen to you and I think a lot of girls probably think oh no this never happened to me maybe to older women not true so just personally to hopefully reach out to, to younger girls um, I'm supporting this cause is because it is the, mo the second most common uh, cancer uh, right now in the world, happening in the world right now. So, and also personally, I have uh, two friends that has been affected by the disease. Um, therefore, I feel very much uh, if we can come together and uh, give awareness to all the women out there to be educated and uh, to protect themselves. We, because I, I believe that ignorance is mm. the biggest killer, yeah. you know? Because I'm a woman, I'm a woman, that's why I'm supporting this cause. It can happen to me. Scarily enough, you don't want to think about it, but it can happen to, to myself and to just about any woman out there. So that's why I'm supporting this cause, because I am a woman. So it's, it's something that's preventive as well, which is... Um, which I think, I don't know, I think in Malaysia, people don't go for preventive medicine so yeah. much, you know what I mean? It's only once you, yeah. you get yes. a disease or you have some sort of symptoms and then it might be a bit too late. As long as we know the preventive measures, then we can actually prevent ourselves from getting it. And therefore, you know, avoiding any more, any death in that sense. So I think basically what I want to do is that, to inform people that it can be prevented. Come on, cancer can be prevented. Why not do something about it? You know, why wait? Well, when I was asked to do this awareness campaign for cervical cancer, my uh, sister-in-law told me that her grandmother had uh, died of this disease, um, of cervical cancer. I know of a friend's mom who had cervical cancer, but she's fine now. 
and thank God. So rather than you know getting it and then trying to find a way to cure it, you know you can always prevent it by learning about the disease and going for pap smears and seeing your doctor and taking uh, the necessary measures to prevent it rather than get it and then figure out a way uh, of trying to cure it. And also, there are lots of new women's clinics that have opened up recently. Yeah. So, you know, if you're a bit conscious of going to see a male doctor, you can always go to um, these clinics specialising in women's problems, you know. I think it's really interesting to point out, and this is, this is the awareness part of it, in that, you know, cervical cancer is caused 80%, right, mm. by this HPV virus. Mm. I mean, compared to all, you know, other cancers that we know of, like breast cancer or liver cancer, people don't know why it's caused, you know, I mean, they say it's it just, the food, the air, you know what I mean? Whereas genetic, for cervical it's cancer, genetic, yeah. it's, um, it's through, 80% uh, of it is through this virus, so... And it's actually can be prevented yeah. that's why I go yeah, every exactly. year <laughs> and then you get yeah. tested you test and then if if there are symptoms and then the doctor will put yeah. you on a you know, medication. This is the only cancer that can be prevented yes. yeah. you know so don't wait too late and don't yeah. wait too long so just go get a pap smear test. We as, as, an, as an ambassador we, we will do the first stage of, of you know trying to let everyone know about the campaign but you after that you need to go and educate a lot of the people around you we hope that this campaign would actually be a word of mouth campaign you know, because that's how a lot of things work, that's how gossip works. You know, so why not use it at our own benefit? Awareness. Awareness of women to sit up and say, yeah, I think they're right, I'm going for a pap smear now and I'll go for one every year. Yeah, yeah. That's, just go that's visit all, your doctor. That, just that one line. It's very Awareness. simple actually. Just, go. Yeah. just take some time, you know, like every year, just, just do it. Take action, just don't sit around and say, yes, I'm going to do it, but you never do it. And then it's, it, when and you have it, it yeah. it's too late. Yeah. And get over your fears, you know, because I'm terrified of going to the doctors. <laughs> I really am. I hate hospitals, but you know what? Sometimes it's you always the first time to do that. everything. Yeah. It's always the first yeah. time. After a while, you it's get... It's like seeing your dentist. <laughs> Same kind of commitment. Yeah, yes. To not be afraid. To not be in denial. To really tell yourself that... Um, if you're not healthy, then how are you going to take care of your family? Even if one person can say, hey, I've just, because of this campaign, now I know about cervical cancer and, you know, I've made an appointment with the doctor and I'm going to go see him tomorrow. That's great. I think mission accomplished. So if one more person is educated about this disease, that's fantastic. I hope first and foremost that I too, like very many other Malaysian women, would not be too embarrassed to take charge of our own lives, our own bodies. This is a preventable disease. So there are measures that can be taken. And um, I, I want women to, to understand that, that in order to take care of their families, um, you know, they, they have to take care of themselves. And I also hope at the end of the day, people will just want to be responsible for their own lives you know because it's life you know and if you're not responsible for it no one's going to be responsible for it know that it can happen to you it can happen to anyone so go to the doctor give your doctor a call today um, talk to me if you want about it you know but uh, yeah go consult a doctor right away and uh, find out about how this happens and what you can do to prevent it from happening my personal message to women out there is to take action and take action now. Yes, and I think that all Malaysian women should go see a doctor and get a pap smear done. If you don't know what cervical cancer is or how to prevent it, go and talk to your doctor. He or she will tell you. <laughs>